Arc Survival Scorched Earth map solo play. Um, I've been doing nothing but multiplayer. Lost the character on multiplayer trying to transfer it to a new server because we like to bounce servers for some reason. Uh, anyway, while waiting for wherever we're going next, I have decided to do some single player and I decided to do Arc. And after getting all screwed up with mods and everything, uh, this is where I am now. <laughs> so it's in game day three. Really, like our, I think three or four, I'm not sure which. Maybe more. I've lost track. There's a lot of death. A lot of death. <clears throat> Mine. Anyway, so this is where I set up camp the very first time I played this map. Well, it wasn't here, it was over there. Now, what I was trying to do was build a hybrid player base slash, you know, manufacturing slash taming den slash breeding den slash dino pit slash... I was trying to do an all-in-one. Now, I am still going to do a whole bunch of stuff over there. But my house that I'm going to live in is going to be over here. It's going to have a pier into the water so I can go fishing. Because I've decided, at least in this version of the game, I really like fishing. I haven't tried it in the other stuff. So what I've done is, is I've built a little thatch crap thing over here. Uh, where I'm going to store crap up there. To build first my home slash... <laughs> there's always a slash. And it's going to be really cool in my mind. We'll see how it actually turns out. Thanks to Kerrig, I now know how to build properly instead of having walls turned every which way because that was driving me absolutely insane. But what I have is uh, this is going to be my, my base of operations for building. Um, I don't have a camel yet. I don't have... Oh, yeah. Go away. 16, I want... Okay, can I put it in here for now? Nope. Well, I would hate to waste this. <clears throat> anyway, so... Uh, believe it or not... Oh, mods I'm using. I'm using a new one <coughs> called Metal Arrow Trank. Haven't even come close to getting there. Haven't even gotten a metal yet. Um, I have the Ingrams for it, but uh, right now I'm rocking the Boomerang, which is totally OP and does an amazing amount of damage and Torpor. Uh, reusable um, Bola. And yeah, so I could have tamed several wolves, but I decided to tame this one. And I was working on a uh, thorny hatch dragon or whatever it is, but I decided to kill it for meat and move on because I got tired of waiting. They take forever to tame. So yeah, so I'm going to build two buildings, possibly three, depending on how I want to do that. Oh, and I'm just going to be an airdrop place. I have to remember the airdrop place. So this is just going to be the area in which I build. Now the only resource it's actually missing for building what I want to build is cactus sap. I have to go somewhere else for cactus sap. Which isn't far. In fact, I can show you. Let me get on my guy right here. I, I just settled for a low level one to make it quick. Normally I go for higher level stuff, but uh, I even killed a few higher level and kept this guy. I'm not sure why, but I did. No regrets. Okay, so right up this way is the... There's another alley up there. Is the cactus sap. Now I'm sure you're wondering, well, why didn't I just build right here? Because there's not that many trees. There's a few trees here. But in comparison to the two alleyways, I can break off right. There's a bunch of trees down there. Or I could go further back into this place, and you can see all the trees already. There's just a lot of trees. The water's nice. And again, I'm just attached to this particular location from my multiplayer experience. Ooh. Wolf. So, <clears throat> that's where I'm at. I will be updating as I go. Day, real life day one, in game day three. Scorched earth. Minimal add-ons, not a whole lot. I think I tried to do stacks too. 
anyway it'll work out it'll be fun and i'm gonna hit that wolf and see what happens so i'll catch you guys later